Good afternoon. My name is Mrinal Talukar. Once again, I'm with a one more subject in front of you with my YouTube channel, Dopai. Right now, a Samuel under And the flood, you know, nothing new. For the last uh, 50 years or maybe 70 years, we have been witnessing the same scene. Same scene, same photographs, same approach, everything same. Between June to August, September, several weeks of floods and the public leaders, representatives, MLAs, ministers go out and maintain an optic and then carry on the same thing and same destruction and same old story for generations. As a child, I used to write the same flood stories in the 70s. Now in 2024, the same thing is happening. Nothing. In between four and a half, nearly 4,000 kilometers of embankment have been constructed, which has been used as a short term measures to mitigate the flood. Now, from that embankment, which started in all the way back in fifty uh, in the fifties, early fifties, in nineteen fifty three, coming in act. Now, even the Home Minister is talking about it. Now, the reservoir management by managing the flood of the River uh, through some reservoirs. There are all kind of things, speculations, all kind of theories, all kind of things. But everybody knows Brahmaputra flood cannot be handled. It simply is too big a thing. We have with me. Mr. Uma Borwa, additional chief engineer of Water Resource Department, who has uh, retired, but he has some very revolutionary concept, especially questioning the very embankment, which is a lifeline of Assam's flood management for about a more than the, uh, half a century. I can call it about 70 years. I welcome uh, Mr. Uma Borwa to my program. Thank you very much Good for joining me from Dibrugar, and uh, I'm very glad that you have joined. You have question. You are the additional chief engineer retired from the same department, which basically carry out all kind of embankment maintain. Now you are questioning it. That's very interesting, and that's why I'm interested to know why you are questioning it. Although we technically, as a non-technical person like me, I know that this is a short-term measures. I also know that that uh, this particular embankment actually doesn't give much of protection. After embankment, something any burst, it gets more different, uh, dangerous. So please explain to us in technical and non-technical terms to the people because you are an authority. You know everything. Yeah. Actually, I have to write this because in the public, often we come to know that uh, the embankments are actually damaging the situation. Whenever a breach is occurred in an embankment system, the damage is more. And to whatever I learned, whatever I observed in my service period, from that experience, I wanted to explain it to the people who are mostly concerned about the happenings around us. The, what is the role of the embankment? What was, how it has started? And what is the status? It was a temporary measure at the time of its uh, starting, but no permanent measure for mitigating the flood and the bank erosion problem. No permanent measure was uh, uh, proposed from us, from the government of Assam, from the people of Assam to the government of India so that it can be implemented after due consideration. So I wrote this article only to apprise the people that what is the status of embankments, embankment system. And uh, at present, we cannot reject it or we, can, we, cannot, uh, we cannot forget the contribution of the amendment system. Uh, but we have to do something, still we have to do, because the flood problem will be worse day by day because of the sediment load in the entire valley. Uh, the sediment load is increasing day by day and it will increase more as and when the reservoirs for the Hydel projects in the hilly stretches of Ornasol Pradesh and other hills. Because, you see, 
the catchment area of uh, Subham Siri, Lower Subham Siri Hydel project is 34,800 square kilometer. That is a huge area and uh, after commissioning the project, the submergence will destroy the um, trees and other, other vegetation in the slopes. And so, uh, um, basically, you have to carry it by the upstream. You have that all the uh, vegetation and ecosystem will be destroyed, and there will be sedimentation. Yes, that. Sedimentation, uh, soil erosion will be increasing, and that will grow higher day by day because the because of the soil condition in the slopes, and entire sedimentation will come through. Brahmaputra, this is our geography. So the problem will take a uh, very dangerous dimension. Uh, so that's why we what we have to do. I think observing uh, all these, I think we must go for river training by constructing. So let's, first, let's, first, let's first talk about the amendment part. Hmm. Whether it was wrong or right to have it. Amendment. It was right. Political regions because of the populist measures, because of other ecosystem, because of the business oriented. I understand the need of amendment for the last 40 50 years in the, some socio, socio cultural scenario. But technically, mm -hmm. was it good? Was it wrong? Was it correct? Or was it helpful? It was helpful initially, but still it is helpful in selected stretches. And uh, if someone has any doubt, he should come and see uh, standing on the amendment DTP, Dibuga Town Protection Dike. What is happening here? In 1954, it was almost being washed destroyed. The great engineer called Kahai had done it, and it was called yes. Kahai Spar. Kahai Spar. Yes. And uh, a series of spars were constructed, about eight spars. And other revetment works and uh, a drainage system. The DTP drain uh, was also constructed, uh, was also included in that project. But still, you have uh, said in your article that there is long term amendments are not very fruitful, except some cases may be correct. Maybe Matpura is doing well, maybe Bribugori is doing well, but as a whole, the random amendment is actually destroying the soil, which you are basically trying to say. Yes, a pigment, uh, they are capable of protecting the flood, but uh, preventing the flood to enter into the countryside, uh, protect the households and others, benefited area of the project. This is fine, but uh, this will not work uh, for the long term. For long term, we have to find a solution so that the river actually sedimentation is now a greater problem than the flood. Flood, our rainfall is same in our catchment area, almost same. Rainfall is not increasing, total rainfall, I should say. But due to cloud burst or the duration of rainfall, in a spill, maybe of higher intensity. Uh, that's why the flood is coming quickly. Uh, but the total annual rainfall is being same. The water level of the rivers are coming higher. What does it mean? That means the bed level is rising. And that is also measured. Um, in Dibugo, it is about 5 meters, the bed has arisen. So, that is going to happen in everywhere. So, to tackle that, we must go uh, one sustainable long-term measure. We must adopt one sustainable long-term measure so that both flood and erosion can be tackled. That is that should be our aim. 
uh, it will be better if we take it earlier. And it will definitely require huge studies, uh, extensive studies, including a physical model study, whether by providing the, the uh, river trading system by a series of uh, spars, both permeable and non permeable. Uh, that way, we will have, we will achieve two things by maintaining a channel uh, which will not rise uh, gradually, but I mean yearly, we, we shall have to provide a given channel to the river so that the discharge can be passed through it without any obstruction. Then again our banks, both the banks will be protected from bank erosion. And if we, if we can uh, transport the sediment in the bed, which are supposed to be collected uh, uh, by uh, that way, the raising, raising of amendments and widening will not be required as frequent as is followed now. Yeah, after providing raising and strengthening work to an embankment, uh, actually it is designed for at least 25 years minimum design. But uh, because of rising of the bed, because of rise, uh, as well as because of rising of the water level, uh, overtopping of the embankment takes place and it requires again raising as well as strengthening. That is now you are a seasoned man, you have a, such a long experience. So if you are given an opportunity to advise the government or public authorities, do you advise, will you advise construction of new amendment or new strengthening or you would like to manage the river in a different way rather than going for amendment? Can you tell me on that? Because 4,000 kilometers of amendments are in Assam. Yeah. Some of them are successful, especially in Matmora and Dibugar. Dibugar is a grand example. Over the last 70 years, it has been standing so tall and nicely. But rest of the things are not so in good condition. So can you tell me openly because you are now a retired man. Yes, I am. I was saying this while I was in service also that we need to we need to maintain whatever is existing. These are to be maintained, updated, including raising and strengthening so that it stands well to prevent the flood breaching etc but no new construction should be adopted so there should not be new amendment whatever we have maintain it those are to be maintained yes yes whatever we have those are to be maintained and properly strengthened this is a uh, this is a uh, regular job this is, this is a regular job uh, in addition to that, for long-term sustainable uh, measures, we must adopt this one, river trading, so that the river bed does not rise further and the river smoothly passes through a channel that will be regulated by those series of spars constructed on both the banks simultaneously. Those parts are to be constructed simultaneously from both the banks so that the river channels, those braided channels are channelized into a mono channel in the central part of the river course. River. That means what you are saying is that with the, all the new, uh, with the new ecosystem coming up with the all kind of uh, uh, hydro projects, the sedimentation yeah, will many many uh, things are coming not only lower concrete but many of them are coming in next 25 years so sedimentation will definitely rise and you said that the flood condition will be worse than this in the coming years yes that is the most we are concerned about we should be concerned more about this and you also rightly pointed out another point the rainfall has not changed except some cloud burst but it's more or less has remained same 
not much, yes. And sometimes it is below average. Even then, the flood level is rising. And for that, we need raising and widening of the embankment system. And this is not a matter, matter of joke. Because the length, we have, we have, we have to maintain 4473 kilometers. Also, uh, the new proposal has uh, come and it is now uh, being discussed about maintaining the river ecosystem by having some or creating some kind of and water bodies, large water bodies across the course of the river. Do you think it's a viable option? No. Because earlier, yeah, can carry on. <laughs> no, it is not at all viable. I wrote a small yeah, article. Yeah. Any amount of water bottle, big, large, which was even if it is constructed artificially, can it sustain? No, sir. not at all possible. Because whatever we excavate here, say a big pond, as suggested by somebody, is excavated in the month of March. Okay, whatever may be left, it may be 500 meter, it may be 10 meter, but as soon as our Bohak Bihu comes, before Bohak Bihu or in the early, from early April to a first fortnight of May, it rains so much that entire the excavated tank or whatever say, you say artificial just lake will be filled up with water, with our runoff from the rainfall as well as the discharge from the groundwater. So when the Ground actual water. flood comes, when the actual flood comes from June yes. onwards, no. there will be no space, no, space. no space to accommodate this additional quantity of water, which is coming as flood. This is not possible. That uh, oh, one person asked me, uh, uh, somebody says that, uh, yes, if we can pump it or keep it, keep the space of it, no, then what is the need? It is not a good option. It's a laughable question of pumping or oh, no, no. that the quantity of, <laughs> we can't even manage a one small tributary of called Borolu in Guwahati and you yeah. can't even think of doing something. Anyway, uh, thank you very much uh, talking to you because your expertise is very much required and uh, I am actually very concerned about this amendment thing and you rightly say the new amendment is not a good idea. Whatever you have, maintain it, and if possible, you again say the river training the river manage the river, the basically river bed. Am I right, sir? Yeah. Yeah. But we we must manage the sediment load. This is a must, and this is affecting the tri uh, tributaries also. I tried with someone. Uh, but some, some, in but some with places. engineering. With normal civil engineering which we have, is it possible to maintain the, that particular uh, a, a mono course when so much of sedimentation will be coming from all the tributaries? Is it possible? Uh, yes, it is possible, but it will take time. Uh, this year, uh, we cannot complete all the uh, uh, spars and the construction of all the spars in a single year. It is must go. It will take time. I think it will take 20 years of time to make the river flow in a mono channel. So you have to push it from the both the banks to the center uh, um, in a, I mean, not, uh, you cannot do it in a year or so, but it will take place. I can understand the 800 kilometer of course, you have to do the sparring both sides and bring the mono channel more navigable thing because it's very funny that and it's very sad that over 50 70 years whole river we are not being able to utilize in any way except witnessing the inwell flood which is i always consider all that is a flood festival for some people rather than flood problem thank you sir for joining me all the way from the thank you sir bye bye thank you bye